Moving on to Rams Seahawks. Rams come into this one looking to play spoiler. They've had a very disappointing season, but since Baker Mayfield has come into the fold in week 15, they have gone, ooh, week 14, excuse me. They've gone two and two, picking up the win against the Raiders, then losing the next week, picking up the massive win against the Broncos, and then losing last week against the Chargers in the Battle of LA. But the Rams have had the Seahawks number as of late, going five and one against the spread in their last six matchups. And dating back to 1992, the Rams are 23 and 22 against the spread. Seattle's had the upper hand as they're 25 and 20 straight up against Los Angeles slash St. Louis since 1992. But the Rams know how to cover. Seattle was minus six and a half earlier in the season and Seattle picked up the win but it was a closer game than you would have expected. So I think the Rams cover in this one plus six. The two teams defensively since Baker arrived in week 14, if we're looking at those last few weeks, defensively, these two teams, very similar. There's no, there's not going to be an Aaron Donald for the Rams. So that bodes well for a interior Seahawks to offensive line that has been struggling to say the least. Uh, Charles Cross has been fantastic as a left tackle, but has had some rookie struggles as of late. Abe Lucas for the right tackle side, another rookie, started the season fantastic. He may miss this game being injured, and I believe Stone Forsyth got the start last week, so Stone Forsyth will probably get the start at right tackle again. So the fact there's no Aaron Donald bodes well for this Seahawks front line, in, which is an offense that has been sputtering the last few weeks, 24th in offensive EPA. If you throw out that first quarter against the Jets last week, they didn't score a touchdown. If they did, it was in garbage time. We're doing it through field goals. And surprisingly, their defense played extremely well against the New York Jets, but that's nothing to write home about. It's the New York Jets. So with both of these teams being what feels like fairly similar since week 14, where the Seahawks have regressed and the Rams have gotten slightly better, I'm going to go Rams plus six in this game. I think the Seahawks win, and I think it eliminates the Lions from playoff contention. And so Seattle fans, myself included, will be sitting on the edge of our seats watching Sunday Night Football. But I don't think they're going to dominate the Rams by any means. McVay and Carroll have been going head-to-head -head for the last few years now, and it seems like when one side gets an edge, the other. The Rams would love nothing more than to play spoiler. So it's going to be a close game, Rams plus six.